Okay, so how do we take the derivative of two functions being multiplied by each other? Well, we use something called the product rule. And the product rule tells us what to do. It says, take the derivative of the first function, so f prime of x, then multiply by the second function just as it is. Don't change it at all. And then add to that the, the first function left alone and multiply by the second function's derivative, so g prime of x. And that's it. That's the product rule. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. And if you can remember that phrase, then you can remember the product rule. Now let's see it in action. Let's do an example here. So let's take the derivative of x squared uh, plus 5x times by 3x cubed. Okay, so the product rule tells us, so take the, we're taking this derivative, the derivative of the first. Well, what's the derivative of x squared plus 5x? That's just 2x plus 5 times by the second left alone. So that's just going to be 3x cubed plus the first just left alone. So x squared plus 5x times the der by the derivative of the second. And that's going to be 9x squared. Okay, so that's the power rule. It's, re it's really, really easy to use. Let's do another example without having that as our guide and without using any color coding. So I'm just going to color this all one color. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try and take the derivative of x squared times the sine of x. Okay, well this is equal to, we take the derivative of the first, repeat the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of sine is just cos. And again, hopefully you can, you can see, you can tell, that if you can remember the wording of it, then actually using the product rule is really easy. So one more time, the wording is the derivative of the first, repeat the second, or multiply by the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay, see you in the next video.